the, the second half against Duke, you got a chance to go back and look at it on film and things like that. What were some of the things that you thought, you know, maybe changed from that first half to the second half? Was there anything in particular Duke was doing? And just what did you see there? Um, I think in the first half, we took what they were giving us. Uh, in the second half, I personally, uh, I feel like we should have kept that same mindset and stayed aggressive. I think we were a little conservative, but I think uh, it was a lesson and just uh, that's what we should do from now on, just to take whatever they're giving us to uh, make a good play. So. Did you feel it was a matter of like, you know, trying to protect the lead and not, you know, add on to the point? Like, do you think there was anything in particular that like changed as far as wanting to, you know, add on as opposed to like, you know, being more conservative, like you said? Um, I, I think with, uh, you know, just having uh, a new QB back there, you know, is always want to keep him as settled as possible. So maybe that could have played in a role, but uh, I just I just think at the end of the day, we didn't execute as a whole, so. What growth have you seen from Jacoby since he was thrust into QB1? Uh, getting, getting comfortable, uh, just in practice too, like just, you know, taking control. Um, in practice in the game, you know, he's just starting to settle down, understand, you know, just getting, creating a rhythm with everything. So, yeah. How do you see his confidence improve over the past two weeks? Oh, every day I see it. You know, he he's wanting it uh, his way. You know, uh, how how he wants us to run a certain route because that's how he feels comfortable throwing it. So every day I see him progressing better. So. Oh, so like, um, like a we miss a we miss a pass, you know. Uh, come straight to the sideline, hey, uh, do it like this, you know. Try it like this, and that's where I think I've seen where from where he didn't start, you know, he was just sitting in the back. But now that he's starting to be comfortable, he's starting to open up a little bit more. Has any of that surprised you at all, mate? Just when he said like, I'd rather you do it like this, like you know, has that been you know yet another learning curve for you with? You know, dealing with a new quarterback and getting getting used to all that. Um, no, actually not because most most quarterbacks are different. You know, uh, I think that's the game of football is adjusting. So uh, it's actually probably pretty common with uh, just different QBs. You know, just different skill sets. So. Nate, do you, do you feel like Kobe is getting back to being Kobe, the Kobe that we saw at the beginning of last year before the injury? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, his feet was just messing with him last year. You know, he there was some injuries, you know. Oh, but yeah, he's getting, he's definitely getting back into it. Yeah. What are just some of the, you know, signs of that? Any particular moments, whether it be, you know, practice or game, that you said, okay, you know, he's he's back. With, with Kobe? Kobe. Oh, he he's starting to move faster. <laughs> just you know, uh, sometimes you know, uh, like last year, you know, he would come limping a little bit, saying his feet, but I haven't heard it from him actually. So. Yeah, so um, sometimes, you know, if, if a ball's behind him, you know, like just warming up, you know, most of the time he usually tries to go for it. I just tell him not to go for it because that could affect his foot, you know, just no reason to go for it. But I I do think anytime you are playing, you shouldn't worry about injury. You should just play. So I think he's just playing free, you know, just making plays. So. And you were saying earlier because you had an injury. Are you 100% right now? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. You haven't got a lot of touches originating What has been the challenge in, in maybe working through with a new quarterback, a little bit of a, of a different twist to the offense to where you can get the ball in areas where you can be most productive? Yeah, so um, I think it's just part of the game, you know, just it's going to come, you know, just show up every day, you know. Um, you know, at the end of the day, be a team player, you know, we, we're trying to win. So whatever that takes, that's what we need to do, so. Nate, how stunning is it that it's only four catches for you on the season? Uh, it, it is stunning, but like I said, you know, sometimes sometimes it's like that. You know, um, I've played college football for a long time. You know, and I've seen it around the country. But you know, sometimes it's the ball might not come your way. The ball might come your way. But when it does, you need to make a play. So yeah.
Think yeah. back to us talking to you in camp. And it seemed like, you know, you felt like you were better than ever going uh-huh. into this season. Is that is that fair to think that personally you were expecting a big year? Uh, I feel like everybody expects a big year. And I can say for myself I was expecting a big year. But, um, you know what I'm saying, just you have to have the same mindset with everything. Just show up every day, you know. You just play the win, just show up for the team. You had that in the round each game that you've been, that you played. You like that? Is that fun? Is that something that you kind of think you can take one to the house and you get one of those end rounds? Uh, I'm sorry, what did you, what'd you say? You, you had a run each game. Uh-huh. The little end round reverse. They're either reverses or end round however they originate. Do you like that? Do you like the opportunity to get in touch in that situation and maybe finding a scene that you can break? Yeah, I think any opportunity getting the ball, I like it. So, yeah. For sure, yeah. But it's, it's been in each game that you play, so it looks like it's a, oh, oh. Say a staple of the offense. Yeah. It's sort of is something that obviously coach thinks this might be something you can get, get a nice chunk out of. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I think every week we're trying to disguise everything differently. We're Basically, everybody's running the same plays. It's just how you disguise it differently, so. 12 yards per carry on the 10 rounds. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> okay. They have you doing kicker turns too, right? Yeah, yeah. What do you think of the uh, NFL kickoff rule? New one? Uh, man, honestly, I don't like it because I think it's harder to score now. Uh, but, um, I mean, it is safer, in my opinion, because the speed that everybody runs down is crazy. So, yeah. It's got to be weird being a kickoff returner in college, knowing that, like, you know, if you do make the league and they make you a returner, it's going to be wildly different. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you got the ball in your hand, so it's an opportunity. So, yeah. Nigga, uh, not trying to harp too much on the catches, things like that. I know mean, you know you talked about having the same mindset, you know, week to week, things like that. Was there any sort of adjustment period for you, like, okay, you know, this week might not look like this week as far as attention I'm getting? Like, was there any sort of adjustment that you kind of had mentally in that regard? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Obviously, like you know, sometimes it's it's hard, you know, coming not having a lot of targets or a lot of catches. But, like I said, I've been playing for a long time, and I've learned, like, just to keep a stable mindset. And, you know, just just keep playing ball, you know. If it comes your way, it does, so. Did you think the dude for Central was going to rip your head off? I did not. And that photo didn't look good. Yeah, it didn't feel good either, so. <laughs> but, like, you know, I'm sure it did. But that, that got you, I mean, like, where does it look like? Might be like a concussion type thing. That got your hamstring on the one. That that did, yeah. Foot got stuck in the ground. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Hey, what would you say, just in your opinion, are the areas that this offense can get better at? Five games into the season, um, you're like, where's the room for growth with this this group on offense? Do you think? Yeah. Um. Man, that's. I think that's a big question we try to ask ourselves every day, you know, showing up and practicing, asking ourselves what works for us and what can we, like, roll with, like, what's going to get us rolling? Um, Man, I think, obviously, we play a new defense every week. So um, we study film and we go into that week and see what, what has worked against them. And if it worked against them, like, have we done it before? And can it work for us? And how good does it work for us? Is it easy for us? Is it, you know what I'm saying? Um, just, I think we should somewhat just just try our best to get a rhythm in general. Just find what works for us. Find our identity. So, yeah. Still looking a little bit. Yeah, yeah is there? Yeah, so um, from the first time I played them, they've been running the same defense. Uh, it's the same guy, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they're going to put their corners on islands, and you know they're going to play their safeties off, and they're going to play a lot of man and uh, a lot of press. Uh, I think we'll have a chance this week to be explosive, uh, but I think we have a chance every week to be explosive. I think we just have to go out and execute at the end of the day. So. Nate, what would you say, as a veteran, just with you guys, the players, the group of group guys, what would you say the mood is like? These two losses, obviously Jamie's loss was not great. 
and then do. You've got the big lead, you blow the lead. Like, what would you say the mood of this team is in terms of the players? Hungry, you know. Um, obviously, losing is not is not a good feeling. Um, and this is not a program that is used to losing or we're, like we're used to, you know, being on a being on a roll. But um, the locker room is is great. Like we still hungry, show up every day. Um, you know, just wanting to figure out, like like I said, like the identity, like how can we get back to where we need to be to feel comfortable, well, not comfortable, but like just continue the role basically. So. Yeah, so um, that's tough. You know, I've I've dealt with the three quarterbacks before, um, and a lot of a lot of receivers here, or, or most of them, and probably the coaches haven't dealt with three quarterbacks in one season. It is tough. It is very tough, actually. Uh, like I said, everybody likes, every QB likes different things. Every QB skill set is different. So when you switch quarterbacks, you're basically adjusting the offense of what the QB does best most of the time. So. Um, it is difficult, but it can be done. So that's why I feel like, as a whole, we still have to execute. All right. Thank you, Nate.